Okay, welcome back guys. So um I think this character is way too white, so underneath the top tone, just go down. So let's take off this blush. Take off this yellow also. What about where are the whites? All this white tone, take that off. Okay. <clears throat> um let me solo this. You can see we have need kind of blush fill up. So let this white tone. I'll just do duplicate for it. Or the black marks. Let's use the death brush. Let's see if we turn on. Let's just kind of paint that off. So that's something that is too reddish. Let's look for okay. There's a white stone around here. Take the opacity down and then just paint this off. Okay. All right. Okay. So I took out Let's take out this one also because I, I kind of render this out and it was just sent it to my phone. It was just too white. So I don't want something that is extremely white on top of this. This one's the beauty of a white meal, but not extremely white. Okay. So if you should bring everything back out. So what I'm going to do is to try this on different light setup. So you can kind of get a feel of how this skin will look in a different light setup. Let's try this. Okay, this is not going to shine the face. <clears throat> Boss garage. Let's try this. Let's see it's render for this and let's see what we have. So we have something like this, which is fair enough, it's fair, not bad. So let's try another light setup. So I'm just doing this so that I'll kind of get an idea of how it will look like when I render this out in Arnold. So I'm kind of trying different light setup on top of this, kind of figure out the, figure out how well this thing plays out in different light setup. Okay. Probably going to use a clear background. Play color for the background so you can see this even better. The top distractor from the background. <coughs> this is out well, okay. So this is out well. So that was <coughs> that was campground. Uh huh. Campus ground. Where is that? Okay, okay, okay. Can you post down here? Let's try this <clears throat> cave entry forest. Okay. 
so now we have like an average white tone in here which is which is actually good enough let's see this again okay okay fair enough let's try this once you kind of understand that rather once you kind of know that the skin works quite nice on different light setup then you're good to go ocean beach this is a good one it's another good one Check this out, alright. So this is the same a bit sunlight setup. And so far, skin is good. You see that whitish tone underneath this, or like an overall tone of, of, over this that kind of gives us an idea. Okay, this dude is really white, but not too white, kind of not under the sun. So it's, it's, it's very important you kind of test, kind of test this out and make sure everything is working accurately. Very nice. So I'm just checking this. Okay. Okay. There's also that feels a bit off though. This other part of the eye feels like it's pushing out in a in a weird <coughs> in a weird direction. I think I need to update that. Need to beat that so I would okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's use this. This one stay out of the layers and stuff. Um. The lowest subdivision level turn off symmetry for this. Isolate this. Now, this guy looks like he who shall not be named. Anyways, so the move brush. <coughs> I think I would like to isolate. The top part of the eye. No, we don't push that region. Okay. Okay, so let's bring everything back out. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa, so I pushed that out way too much. So I just basically need to push this like so. Just get something <clears throat> good enough at the very least, okay. Yeah, yeah, something like this should be fine. So it gets one sub build this a one stop division level higher. Then under export settings, okay. You can skip this step. You can still skip this step if yours is very okay. That's completely fine. And let me just name this to so instead should be under the exports or video base mail also save this or rather export this out. Get back in here, select this dude, hide that, 
and import the new one we just save out uh, O2 okay give you the same existing material build or mail this is this, this camera set up properly yes it is select all of this again export this out and let me just name this to two save just a general rule of thumb i like to have a backup for this let me save a backup for this save us just to be on the safe side so i put this also Yeah, I should probably save this also. Okay. Okay, so now let's update this. Project configuration O2. Click OK. Let's just give this a moment to update. We already see the model now. We see the eye now in the right place. I believe. So I fix, fixed that. Have we? Yeah, I believe we have. Yes, we have. So do a quick save again. Okay, we're good. So let's continue testing this on on different light setup just to get a good feel on the skin tone itself. Let's try this next one. Not entirely sure what this is, but it's not going to change on the face at all. This is not even giving us a good idea of the face at all. Let's see. Let's let's send this over. Let's send this over. Let's see what we have. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think we've tested. And let us try one more. I think we've tested enough though. Yeah, I've tested and now this is fine. So I'm just going to go back to the one I'm going to be using as my final shot. Let's see how this looks. Nah. It's going to be this Tomaco Studio. This model is going to be something I'm going to use as my final shot. I'm, I'm, I'm still even going to use this on my in Maya as my setup. As my HDRI setup. So saving this one more time before I before I export out the materials for this. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to go over here and create a new folder. Name this to XP textures. All right, so and I'll copy this. So now we can export safely. Export all of this out. Safely export this out. Select this. Place this in here. Select the folder. Exporting at copy resolution. Um, plus default background color. That's fine. Okay. Uh, base, albedo base. We don't need scattering. 
we don't need occlusion we don't need ao we don't need i don't need normal ah don't even need metallic mid color roughness and normal open gl okay we need we don't need meta for this i guess let me just leave it on now we don't need that we don't need i we don't need ao as coin, we need the metal, we need roughness, we don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Inner eye, we don't need metal, leak. don't need this, don't need this, don't need this either. This is fine. I'll just turn this off because I'm not going to be using a normal regular glass material for the outer eye. <clears throat> it will work just fine. So, okay. Yes. Uh, right. Let's save this. Let's export this out. I think we are good. Let's run the exports. Now come back when this is done. Okay, so all good. Do a quick save again. And let's check. Oh, in here already. Let's check this out. All right. Okay, I believe we're good. Yeah, this would work just fine. Yeah, we have some really we have some really interesting details for the for the eye. Some really interesting details for the eye. Since so this thing this would be my best work for eye for an, for the eye, uh, it's my best eye texture so far. Yeah, I'm proud of I'm proud of what I what I did. I'm proud of my accomplishments, especially with the addition of that single texture that kind of changed everything, which is cool. So we don't have any issues for the textures. So let me just close this. So we don't have any issues for the textures. That's fine. We'll do a quick save for this file. I would um I need to do some cleanup for this. Some things that I don't need that I need to I would need to just just delete just to keep a clean scene out of this. So I'm going to save this first and I'll create a backup for this. I'll delete this copy, create another version for this. And I'll copy for that rather then let's clean up our mesh. Our, our, let's clean up our scene rather. Alright, what is this? Hearts. Name this to hearts. Main. Okay, Not coin. Outer is in eye. Select all of this. Put this in a group. Be no mail. All right, this is all we need. It's precisely all we need. Everything else, I would. Everything else, I would just delete. Just to keep it, just to keep a clean scene out of this. Okay, so. Okay, now select all of this. I'll just give this a new blink material. Maybe more of a darker shade to it. Something of this nature should be fine. And I need to hide. I need to hide this. This we can keep. Let's do a duplicate for this. Let's do a duplicate for this. And I'll name this duplicates head scalp. Because this is what we're going to be getting our XNF from. 
or generate an IAG generator from save this then let's prepare our scene for exigent so first thing you need to do is to come in here select this and click on project window you want to create a new project for this uh where is this saving to character design no 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 let's create something new I'll be no I'll be no male. Alright, so let's select this folder. I think I still have this. I'm just going to drop this here. This is the file part I want to use for this. So I'll just select these five parts. Project files, I've been no male character, I've been no male. Okay, this is fine. Now just hit on accept. Once you do that, control save and you come back to that folder we should have. Yes, you should have that. See the, see the new folder we just created in here now. You should have a new project file. So this is important because anything we're going to be working with XGen needs a project. A project file to kind of save in so can I kind of have all the exigen uh, cash cached into this project file very important like extremely important all right so that's that the quick save again so before I round this <clears throat> before I round this up I would just like to I would just like to um, Let's see. Let's create a scalp out of this. So let's hide this. Let me name this to main. Yeah, I think I need caps. Caps should be on. Okay. I'll hide this for now. This is what is visible. So what can I get? Uh, some scalp out of this. Let me want to duplicate this one more time. Hide this. <clears throat> because I need one scalp for the head air, then I'll need another scalp for. <clears throat> I'll need another scalp for what's it called? For the eyebrow and the eyelashes. All right. So, uh, this is this is a tricky part. So. Can we can I get symmetry on here? Let's see if we can get symmetry on here. Edge. Yes, perfect. So we have symmetry on here. So the idea to kind of get a scalp to generate our edge from is to select more than what we need. Yes, yeah, select more than what we need. So let me go all the way here. Let me double click on this. This is just capturing so many parts, <clears throat> but I think it's best to get. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, I like I like the space we have in here. We still need some more around. We still need to delete some more parts though. So let's see if we can detach this. So shift right click and hold detach components. Face mode, delete. Okay, let's see when I isolate this. So I'll just click on make life. Or yeah, I think so. That's called make life now. I believe that's okay. I select 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 rather. Okay. Yeah, this is good. We will just need to find. Let's do another one of another one around here. Detach, delete. Okay. This card is not. This card is not. It's not going to be having beards. If we should, let me see if I can bring that out. 
mode on top okay let's look for that this is like a main this is like a main character <clears throat> so if we should um let me put this around here so you can see where the air starts from so we need more than what we already have in here uh, I think I need to load up the actual. Uh, okay. Save. Some other references I will I need to need to see in here. Okay. <clears throat> need to look for. Need to look for where the airs are so kind of get a good idea where if you kind of separate out. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, around the air. We've captured most of that already. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Okay, let's delete this. Detach components. Delete. We we'll need. Let's see. Um. Trying to be careful here. I don't want to delete more than okay. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good place to delete. Detach components. Delete. Select. Delete. Do a quick save. I think this is a good. This is this is this is good enough. Is more than what we need, which is fine. So with this view now, we can actually see where the year is. Because we need the air, it's gonna give us a guide where we can kind of stop stop the airs from going through. Yeah, this is this is this is just this is fine. This is fine. So next thing I want to do is to very important go to the UV editor. Make sure this has UV on there. Yes, which this already has. Select the UV shell. What's this? We have an extra piece here. That we can delete. So I put, I put my mouse cursor on the 3D view so we can delete that completely as geometry, not as UV shell. So select this again. I will come to UV2 kit. Let's just do an unfold. Okay. Let's check this out with the UV tile in there. And then select this, and then let's just do a layout for it. So we have more resolution to work with. Why is it taking so long? You just want UV shell in here. Why is it taking so long? I'll come back when this is done. All right, we have something to work with. This is just this is fine. Yeah, good enough. So, uh, I'm going to rename this to Ed Hair Ed Hair Skull. Select this now. Delete by type E3 on this. So once we kind of clean this geometry properly, so as not to have any issues with XGen because XGen can be really frustrating to work with at times. So now we have this now, so let's hide this for now. Go out of isolate, hide this. Let's bring back the second L scarp, isolate this. So now we need something for the eyebrow. Mm. You know what? Let's do something for the. Wait, hold on a minute. Now I'm looking at this and I feel like. I feel like if I had. 
I feel like if I had this kind of beard, kind of beard to this guy, to to, it, to give it a bit more character, so it's gonna give us a bit more character to him. This is an interesting looking beard. I feel like I should keep keep another scarf just to add beers in there just to make it look more interesting <clears throat> just to give the character a more interesting look to him yeah i think i'll do i think i'll do that i think i'll do that our character is more or less similar to this character which is extremely white so which is just what we're trying to recreate in here something similar which is it's is blonde hair all right so well, i think I'll, I'll create a beard for this guy to make it look more because he, he, he already has a he already has a strong manly facial structure to him so adding some beard and mustache should kind of give him some interesting rather a really interesting look to him yeah i think i'll do i think i'll do that i think i'll do that I should make it feel more interesting. So let me just duplicate this again one more time. Go out of this, hide this. So let's start with the one for the. Let's isolate this. Let's start with the one for the eyelashes and eyebrow. Um. Uh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm just going to grab all the way out here. Oh, it's not going in a it's not going in a loop. It's not going in a loop. I need something that goes across in a loop fashion. Yeah, this this, this should be a good start. It should be a good start. Detach components. Delete this. Um, come across around here. Um, it's something that goes across in a loop. Uh, okay. Let's detach this also. I think we would need something a bit cleaner that goes across. Mm. Let me get think get something like this. Eh. No. Delete, delete. Okay, delete. Crap, delete all of this. Do a quick save. This is still this is still in SS though. Yes. Uh, some looks cool though, but I don't deselect all of this. Select this. Let's look for a good place to connect this out. Okay, delete. Yeah, I think this should be fine. This should work just fine. 
I'll name this to um let me just name this to i a uh, scalp i think that's a better naming convention for it I'll hide this bring this guy out this will be for the beard and i think this beard will need we would need we need a whole lot more uh so the goal as it is, as it is so grab more than what you need touch Mm. Touch. Touch. Okay. No, that has been a long day. No, I don't want that to go across. Uh, nope, nope. It's a tricky one, though. Okay, it's a good, it's a good place. Uh, probably not. Isolate this. Let's get this across. It's not going entirely across yet. Okay, still not going now entirely across though. What are we missing? Delete all these connecting parts. Great. Still a lot of connecting parts. Awesome. Why, why? Finally, okay. Uh, I think we can rest easy with this more than what we need. We can rest easy with this. So, make quick save. Let me just name this to beard. Beard. Space mustache scalp. 
go to add a uh, in there. A scalp. All right. Did you save? Yeah, I think we are good to go. Believe we are good to go. This is the beard. This is the eye. This is the head. Uh, we are good to go. So in the next, let me just. I'll let you put this in a separate group. Put this in a separate group. X gen. X gen. S cow. I'll drop this group out. Yeah, so now everything that's in here, if why did this now? Let's just do it by type H3, turn off this symmetry mode. Now we know certainly that. Okay. Now we know certainly that this is everything that has to do with the head scalp. This is our main head itself with the hats on. All right, so okay. I think I'm not entirely sure if I want this funky hair style, though. But this funky hair style actually looks actually looks good, though. This broad funky hair style. I'll give it. I think I'll, I think I should even go for something like this. That looks. This looks rather interesting to work with. Looks interesting. There's an interesting one. It's not entirely coily. Uh, I think. Hmm. Um, So these are like specific regions for specific regions yeah i think i'll go for something funky something okay yeah this is a better reference on this side a better reference this is gonna need a lot of plumps okay. i think i like this look I like this thing. Probably be going for something like this. This has an interesting look to it. Ah, the only thing there is that we might need to ditch. We might need to ditch this art. We might need to ditch this art. Except if. Except if. Just for the sake of this being educational, now we can uh, we can do like two. We can do two. We can start with um. We can start with something that goes that that goes with this main reference in here. So we can have the heart sit on top of it. Then we would have something like this also, which is quite. Which on his own is quite interesting to look at. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I'll do those that. Yeah, this looks this are uh, interesting looking shapes we can actually explore for this project. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.